Good morning, boys and girls. It's Julie coming to you from the Amherst branch of the Cumberland Public Libraries. Today we're going to do a craft, and we're going to do a craft with this. What is that? That's right. It's oh, it's bird seed, and I nearly spilled it all over the place. So, what do you think we're going to do with bird seed? Hmm. What could we do with bird seed? Are we going to eat it? No, we're not going to eat it. It's not for us. It's to feed the birds. So we're going to make some bird feeders that are so easy for you to make at home. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're going to make one to get, make two of them together. And then you can make them at home with your friends and your family, and you can take them outside and hang them in the trees and feed the birdies. So for the first one, we're going to do one like this. <gasps> what shape is that? Can anybody tell me? It's a triangle. That's right. We're going to make a triangle bird feeder. And to make this one, all you need is a piece of bread. And it should be stale bread because if it's too fresh, the bread falls apart when you try and put a string through it. I found that out the hard way. And you can't leave it overnight to get stale because then it gets too hard. And I found that out the hard way too. So just leave it out for an hour or two. Let it get a little bit hard and then it's going to be perfect. So you need a piece of bread, you need some peanut butter, you need a string, and some scissors to cut your string. You need something to poke a hole through the bread, and I just used a chopstick. You need cookie cutters in different shapes. I've got a heart, and a triangle, and a circle, and you need some bird seed. And peanut butter. Did I say peanut butter? All right, so this is what you need. And all you're going to do is take one of your cookie cutters. I think I'm going to try a heart this one. I did a triangle there, but we're going to try a heart. So you take your cookie cutter and you press it all the way down. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get that peanut butter out of the way. You press it all the way down into the bread and then you take the bread away from it. So what shape is it going to be when I'm finished? That's right, it's going to be a heart. So. There's my heart shape, and that's a good way to tell the birds that we love them because it's a heart. So once you get your bread shape, you're going to take your peanut butter. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, you need a knife or you need popsicle sticks or something to spread it. So first of all, we're going to take our um, chopstick and we're going to put a hole right through the center. See that? And that is going to be for our string. So we're going to take this string and poke it through and it's a good idea to put the hole down further so you have a little bit more room for the um, string to go through and it won't tear the bread quite so easily so then you just tie a knot if you can't tie a knot you can ask an adult at your home to help you so there you have a piece of bread on a string and birds would probably eat that on their own or maybe squirrels but I think we want to make it a little bit more yummy for you. So we're going to take some peanut butter. Now the neat thing about this craft is you can use peanut butter. That's what we usually use. But some people can't have peanut butter in their homes because there's allergies. So if you wanted to do this activity, instead of using peanut butter, you could use Cheese Whiz, or you could use molasses, or you could use some honey. Anything that is sticky that you can put on the bread and then the bird seed's going to stick to it. So I'm gonna put peanut butter on this side. And I'm gonna make sure I have it well covered. All right, now I'm gonna pick it up by the string. And that's what it looks like. It's all covered in peanut butter. And then I'm gonna put it into my tray of bird seed. And I'm gonna push it down a little bit just because I want to make sure that the bird seed will stick to the peanut butter. Let's see. Did it stick? It certainly did. The birds are going to love that. So then we're going to put this back on our plate and we're going to take a little bit more peanut butter and we're going to do the other side. And you could even do around the edges if you want to make sure that there's lots and lots of seeds on there. Every place that you, every piece of the bread that you coat in peanut butter is going to have a um, is going to have the seed stick to it. So now the second side is done and I'm going to put it in here and I just realized I forgot to bring napkins or paper towels. So I'm going to get a little bit messy but you guys can be more prepared for that. So let's see how it looks. Oh, 
look at that yummy bird feeder. There's going to be so many birds in your neighborhood that are happy to see that. So we're going to put this one down. That's how you make one out of a slice of bread. And the other way you can do it, if you don't want to use bread, you can, that over there, you can use one of these. What is that? I spy with my little eye, some children watching me. It's a toilet roll holder, or you could use a paper towel roll holder and just cut it in half and make a smaller one. Or if you really want to feed a lot of birds, you could make the big long one out of the paper towel holder. So now we're going to take the peanut butter. Oops, actually, before we do that, it's a good idea to add the string first because once you put the peanut butter on, it gets messy. Let's see if I can get the string through here. So you just, you're going to need a longer piece of string for this one. So you put the roll in the middle of the string and then you tie it in a knot. And you can even tie it in a knot. This one's going to be a little bit heavier because it's going to hold more seeds. So maybe you want to tie two knots just to be safe. So that's what it looks like. Do you think the birds would like to chew on that? I don't think so. I think it's missing something. What's it missing? That's right, it's missing the peanut butter and seeds. So again, I'm going to take peanut butter on my knife, and I'm just going to pull the string over to the side out of the way a little bit, and I'm going to cover my whole roll in peanut butter. Who would like to take a bite of this toilet roll with peanut butter on it? Does that sound like it would be a good sandwich? I don't think so. I think that would taste pretty yucky because it's cardboard. Now, if you wanted to try the one that is made from bread before you put the seed on it, you could probably do that. But after you put the seed on it, it's for birds only. So, I'm going to put lots and lots of peanut butter on this one. And then, oh, I'm going to set down for a minute so I can move it over. It's kind of hard. You might need to ask an adult to hold this for you so that you can get the peanut butter on the all the sides because if you have smaller hands it might be a little bit more difficult okay so do you see that it's all completely covered in peanut butter now comes the fun part you take your tray of bird seed oh, move this over so you can see what i'm doing and then you put the roll down in it and then just pull the string to the side a little bit so it doesn't get all covered in peanut butter and then just start to roll it and you roll it in the seeds and keep on rolling until it is completely covered. And we've got lots of different kinds of seeds in here. We've got um, sunflower seeds and we've got sesame seeds and there's lots of different seeds that the birds are going to love. And when it's all finished, you just lift it up by the string and look at that. That's another bird feeder. I'm actually just going to take some sunflower seeds and stick them on the top because I think the squirrels really like those. So we might be able to feed birds and squirrels and all different kinds of animals in your backyard. So you can make it just like that and then take it out, hang it in your backyard in one of the trees or hang it off your deck. If you hang it close to a window, you might actually be able to see the birds come and eat. That'd be pretty cool. Then you get to watch them enjoy your hard work. So that's the easy way to make bird feeders at home and we're going to do some more activities tomorrow, so I hope you'll come back and join me tomorrow, and you guys have a wonderful day. I'd wave, but it's a little hard because my hands are full. So you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.